What's going on guys? It's either late Thursday or very early Friday depending on what time this video actually goes up. But I'm here to show you and tell you how I managed to win this abomination of a Forza trial. This week we have a fine edition. It is a road racing event for collector series cars tuned to pretty much any spec you want to use. You can use B, A, S1, S2, X even. It's all up to you and what your teammates decide to bring to the table as well. And this thing is rough, let me tell you. I'm going to share with you how I managed to win and kind of give you a few little tips and tricks to help you hopefully succeed. But you're going to need a lot of good things to happen. You're going to need teammates to cooperate. You're going to need just a few different things to happen. Let's jump right into it. The car I decided to go with is the 2018 McLaren Senna. And the tune I made for it, I will show it on screen right now, it is called X-Class Road. I also made an S2 class tune for this as well. I'll show that on the screen. It's called S2 Road Racing. Depending on if you want to throw out, you know, if you want to try S2, X, whatever you want to try. I made one for each. The differences between the two, uh, the X one is maybe a little faster. And it's lighter for some reason. It doesn't really make any sense. And the S2 one handles just a bit better, I'd say, on the long swooping turns. But if you're going to jump into a thing most people are going to have X cars so you might as well use an X you don't want to be one guy using S2 because all the AI is going to be using X except for maybe one or two but um, yeah like I said it's lighter it doesn't really make much sense to me you add parts to it like it made the power go up and the weight go down by adding like it's like a fuel system valves or something like that so I don't get how adding parts made the weight go down some sort of glitch in the game I'm not entirely sure but uh, my logic behind using this car, frankly, it's one of the only ones I had that were eligible. I'm not entirely sure what a collector series car is particular in this game. In particular in this game, I should say. Um, I thought, you know, maybe it was all legendary cars. But if you go to the little to the menu for the trial event on the map, and once you're actually in the map, or in the free roam part of the map you can click on it and click on view eligible cars and it shows a list of them I'm not sure if this is the entire list or not because a lot of time I know in Forza Horizon 4 if you clicked on view eligible cars it would show ones that weren't eligible so I'm not entirely sure what the criteria is for it to be a collector series car I thought maybe it was being legendary but that's not true you see some epics I thought also the value of the car was like a million that's not it. You see some that are valued at 300000 or so. So I'm not entirely sure what the criteria meets uh, to make it a collector series car. And of the ones that were eligible, the only ones I had were the McLaren Senna, the Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster, and one of the old Ferraris. If this would have been a Forza Horizon 4 trial, I definitely would have used the Pagani Zonda Cinque. I think it's a great car. In this game, it doesn't quite live up to the standards of four um, so I began making my tune for the Senna I think it's a pretty decent balance it could handle a little better I think the speed kind of makes it handle not as well as it should but it's more the competitive for me I won two of the three races the first race good luck winning it's gonna be very difficult to win race one I tried it a few times and I like I got close to winning race one once but uh, I had a teammate kind of get in my way a whole bunch of the race and then an AI slam me into a wall which doesn't really help uh, but races 2 and 3 are definitely winnable you might need to drive like a dick unfortunately you'll see in my second race I'm not proud of it I had to slam an AI into a wall to pass him it's just one of those things you, I don't recommend doing that like online don't do that if you're doing like a PvP race or something like don't do that against somebody else but you know with an AI Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, especially in an event like this where it's so you, odds are stacked against you so high. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Race three was pretty easy. You can definitely win race three if you have a good enough car and don't overdrive too much. There's a couple points where I was overdriving a little bit just to try to get in front of an AI, but I relatively kept it clean. I did it. I think I did a solid job. And this car helps with that. It doesn't really uh, punish you too much if you do overdrive, unless you really, really slam it hard into a corner. It's it's but it's a pretty decent balance too, and I think you will enjoy either one of them. Um, but yeah, the AI it, it's rough, especially in race one. It's gonna be one or two AI. It's just super, super fast. Even if you and your team are really good, it's gonna be hard to catch up to them. Uh, 
Man, uh, I tried this event, I'd say four times or so, and my team was not good at all. I did not have any teammates at all that would finish. I don't think they even beat any of the AI. Like, it was rough. My teammates were not good. I got lucky in this race. You're, gonna, you're probably going to need a lot of luck to win this event. My team, all my team left. Uh, it's going to be probably the easiest way to win, honestly, is hope your team leaves and hope you can beat enough AI to be on the positive end of the point scale here but it's it's tough i'm just t telling you what worked for me i'm giving you the car i use and kind of saying that it's, it's, it's going to be tough you get you don't want to overdrive you might have to drive like a dick though to get past some of the ai if you need to win if you're if it's like the last guy or something you're gonna have to hope your teammates either leave like the case was for me or you have to hope your team it's good enough to beat some of the rear end AI just to keep it, you know, keep you guys just slightly above the points threshold where you're able to win. Uh, I wouldn't be too alarmed over race one. Like I said, it's difficult. Your team, no matter what you do, you're probably not going to win race race one. So you're really going to have to hope races two and three, your teammates can either, you know, keep up with you and not be the death of you or hope your teammates leave and you can beat just enough people to to get the event done now a lot of people i've seen the most popular car i think i've seen in this event is the pagani Wyra. i don't have too much experience with that in the horizon series i used it a touch in four but i don't have it in this game so i didn't use it but i was looking up in the tuning directory and you can make it it seems like it handles really well because it's like everything's tens pretty much except for the speeds of six one i've seen it uh, around that area so it's probably not the fastest, but it would handle extremely well, I would imagine. I know that's how it was in 4. So if you're looking for a car that is very, very handling oriented, you just want the easiest car to handle, bar none, I would use the wire VC. But if you have the Senna or something like that, you can definitely make a competitive tune out of it. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I could even say here to give you guys some some motivation, some uh, some inspiration. You can get the Ferrari Dino if you win, it's a solid car, but winning it is the is the hard part. So, um, yeah, I, I would offer a strategy if you can somehow manage to get like a, a full team of six. All you guys can settle like what class you guys all want to use. I think if everybody wanted to use like an S1 class car, like all you guys had the Elise GT1 or the Nissan R390 or something to that effect. Have everybody use like S1 cars. It'd force the AI to use S1 cars. And it would be easier to win that way. But if you're just jumping in solo, you're gonna have to hope that your team just either leaves or they're competitive enough to, you know, not be the death of you. If you're the one pulling the weight and winning the races, being up front, you have to hope your team could just do the same or leave. It's, 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 it's what it comes down to. This event, I'm not very happy with the way these opening trial events have been for Horizon 5. I think they definitely could have been better. The first one I, I liked, I thought it was okay, the cross country one. The last one there's only like two cars that are eligible so it's kind of silly and not very much variety there. And then this one with AI just being ridiculous, it's it's hard. Hopefully next week it's easier. Good luck. I hope you guys can get it done. Uh, throughout the week if you need help on Xbox I will try to help people. You know, maybe you get this trial event done. If you need somebody to on your team, I would, I would be more than glad to try to help you guys out. Just let me know down in the comments if you guys need help or what worked for you. And if you found this video helpful, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys next week for hopefully an easier spring trial event.